Well, on a bootable CD, you can use to fire up Windows. Even if your hard drive is fried, you're testing out a system, you want to use something a little more stable, we actually have it, your own CD you can create for nothing. A bootable Windows XP. No DOS, no bad Windows 3.1, no weird, third, actually some weird third-party software. Check this out. Bart PE. And, is the name uh, of the app. That's the name of the app. It's based on the Windows Microsoft pre-install environment. And what we have here is actually running. It's very similar to Nopix, Nopix STD, and right. Flack is, a, is the other one. Yeah, you just put it in and you boot and it comes right up just like it would Windows, right? Yeah, it's a pretty basic idea. It, you know, basically, you, you can add different items onto this by doing plugins when you create mm -hmm. the ISO. We'll talk about that in a second. But the idea is you create a bootable Windows. I'm not entirely sure why I'm in this command environment here, but I'm feeling very excited about it. I think I'm going to look and see if we actually configured the networking on this. You can configure networking on it, you can search, and did we launch it? You know, let's flip over to the other one. Yes, we're launching, we're even connected to the internet. Let's go back and talk about this, though. The idea, though, is we Yeah, show created, me how you created it. Have you ever seen a, a bootable, you know, everybody knows about a Windows right. install CD, right? But this is the idea. They have a CDR, it's prepared in an emergency, it gives you some tools to use. Right, I've okay. never seen, this is the first time, in fact, I've never done this before. You're, you're we teaching never knew me something possible. here today. We found this, 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 we found a nice guy named Bart. Bart lives in the Netherlands. Bart likes to code. Bart has some free time. So if you go to nu2.nu and go to PE Builder, it creates, again, using that Microsoft Windows, the, the, the pre-install environment. And what it does is allow you, you download his PE Builder software, and you can also download, I'm going to scroll down here and try not to make anybody sick in the audience, plugins. And the plugins basically allow you to add in additional functionality. So you, oh, so you don't, you don't menus, download plugins support. after you launch the CD. You do no. this prior to exactly. setting it up. Exactly. do so. Well, let's actually skip forward, close all tabs, and whoops. Uh-oh, that's Sarah's demo. We've got multiple demos going on in this system. We'll relaunch the P Builder. I always get afraid to close anyone else's Just demos. Just close away. It's okay. We're good. So we're going to actually go through the uh, manual build here. And we're going to P Builder. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to need a Windows install disk, right? A regular Windows XP install disk. So let's go ahead and click that. Okay. So hold on one sec. You just launched the application mm -hmm. and you just chose the D drive right. as the location of your Windows install disk. You'd have to choose. On your system, that could right. be the E, F, G, gotcha. the C, any else. Got like 90 seconds left. We'll crank through. And then you go through and you can pick different plugins. And let's see what else we have in here. If you need ASPI drivers, if Adware 6 is installed. Ah. In some cases, you have to download and install software on the system you're building or have okay. it available for this. And what's really cool, if you go to, whoops. So it pulls the software that it needs from your system that's mm -hmm. already been pre-installed. So in this case, if you wanted Adware included on your distro, on your bootable disk, you would then install Adware first on the machine and it yeah. would pull the files from it, it. It actually varies on system to system. We had another one. Let me call this up. There's actually a really good website, CD911, uh, Rescue CD, CD911.net it should be. No, you know what, that's up in the show notes. Uh, but you can actually download additional plugins. And what that does is allow you to add additional features. Mm -hmm. This creates an ISO disk once you go through burn it, burn it to the ISO disk, and what you end up with is your bootable CDR. Okay. And that adds all of the features on there that you've chosen to select. We have a pretty stripped down one here so it would boot really fast. But the idea, and if you go to the, the CD911 site, they have tons and tons, I think like 235 different plugins you can use if you want to load different applications, if there's different resources you want to utilities. The idea is that you can create like you would do with an old DOS rescue disk. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's Windows XP. Right. It can read the NTFS file partitions. That's the cool thing. That's the big thing, yeah. exactly. Because if your hard drive or your system gets hosed and you want to go back in and get your you know, crucial information, your My Documents, mm -hmm. things like that, most likely you're going to be on an NTFS partition and you can't read those with a DOS boot disk. It's not going to yeah. allow you to get to those files. In this case, yeah. it will. In theory, you could spend $300. You can download an additional application. Right. It sits on top of DOS and allows you to translate that to NTFS. I say go for Part PE. It's free. It's an easy download. It's easy easy to set up. We got all the links and the information on this up at the screensavers.com.